Hello viewers, welcome to TV Matter. In our today's session, I will be taking you through question number three for ginger joint mock pure mathematics. So question number three says a variable line through the point two negative five cuts the axis at L and M and the perpendiculars to the axis at L and M meet at point P. What is the locus of P? So before we look at the solution, I will remind you that we have already seen the solutions to questions one and two. And in case you haven't got those solutions, please check our previous videos in this uh, playlist. So let us look at the solution for question number three. So we are told that a, val a variable line through the point two negative five. So let us first of all look at the visual interpretation. So if we have if we have our lines so we can estimate 2 negative 5 2 negative 5 if this is our negative 5 for that case so we can estimate 2 negative 5 to be a point around here so we shall have a point this to be the point 2 and negative 5 so we have a line which is passing through this point here so we can have our line as this. So this is our line, which is passing through this given point, uh, that is 2 and negative 5. So if this is our point 2, negative 5, and this is our line, which is passing through that. So we are told that this line is cutting at the axis at points L and E, L and M. So we are told uh, that a variable line through this point to negative 5 cuts the axis at L and E, M, and the perpendiculars to the axis at L and M meet at point P. So looking at that, so it means uh, this will be our point L, and this will be our point M. So this point here is a point, we can call this point here Maybe it is a point uh, which is on the y-axis and x is 0. So this is point like 0 and a point like A. We can call it A. And this point here, we can call it uh, maybe uh, the point uh, on y-axis. It is 0. So we can call this one point maybe B. We can call this point B and 0. So the y-axis is 0. So from here we are told that the perpendiculars through M and e. So if this is the perpendicular line, if this is the perpendicular line through M, uh, this is also the perpendicular line through L. So these perpendiculars meet at a point, which point we are calling point P. So this is point P. And as you can see, point P is basically B and E and point L. So it means to know uh, the locus of P, we must know B, we must know A. So this is uh, the visual uh, graph that we can use. So how will we get B and A? So we can easily get B and A if we know the equation of this line. So what we can do is first to let uh, the equation of the line, equation of the line, let the equation of the line through 2 and negative 5 be uh, in the form of y equaling to mx plus c. So we can have this to be the general equation of the line where we can pick any points x and y. So to be that. So let the equation of the line through any general point on this line x, y to be in this form. So this is our y which is equal to mx plus c. But since we know that one of the points, since we are given one of the points, as since the line passes through one of the points, x, y, so we can use that point to get a sum of these unknowns or to get the general equation of uh, this line. So it means we can have this as negative 5, uh, which is equal to m. m is the gradient, which we don't have. x is 2, then plus c. So it means our C is same as 
negative 5 minus 2m. So this is c. So the line will be y, which is equal to mx, then plus c, which is minus 2m minus 5. So this will be uh, the general equation of the line. So since we have got the general equation of the line, which is passing through the point 2, negative 5, we can go on and see how best we can get the uh, p. This p is in terms of b and e and a. So if that is the case, let us see how best we can get p. Uh, that is our major interest. So to look at that, to look at that, we shall basically consider, let us first of all consider point m. Consider point m. So we can see that uh, this line is passing through also M. So to get the value for B, we shall consider point M. So consider M. And this M is actually B of 0. So we already have our general equation of the line. So from Y, which is equal to MX minus 2M minus 5. This is our general equation of the line. Uh, this one here. Uh, so from this it means our y is zero this is still m our x is b and then minus 2m minus 5 so basically we have zero which is mb minus 2m minus 5 so we can try uh, to rearrange this we are interested in b so it means mb will be same as let us bring everything the other side 2m plus 5 and b will be same as 2m plus 5 divided by m so this will be the value for b so that is b is 2m plus 5 divided by m so we shall have that next let us consider let us consider l which l is same as 0 and a so we are considering this point here l which is 0 a so l if l is 0 and a so we shall again say from uh, the general equation because the same line which is passing through m is still passing through l so it means this point should also be satisfying this given equation of the line so also from y which is equal to mx minus 2m minus 5 it means y is a which is equal to mx m into 0 minus 2m minus 5 so our a will be same as negative 2m minus 5 so this will be a so as we have seen uh, p is a point represented by a b but a we have not a b it is let us see b a it is represented by point b a so we can have this as b and a so which means our point p is actually b which is 2m plus 5 over m and then a is actually negative 2m minus 5. But we understand that the general equation of the line is in the form of p of x and y. Since we are interested in uh, getting the locus of p, so it means this will be in position for x and this will be in position for y. So uh, from this we can say thus x will be representing 2m plus 5 divided by m and y will be representing negative 2m minus 5 since the general equation of uh, uh, the uh, the general point should be in form of x and y so from here uh, we can try to get rid of m so you can either make m the subject here or here there. so now from this given point we can try to eliminate m from uh, these two uh, expressions x and y so to do that uh, we can make m the subject here such that we have y plus 5 divided by negative 2 which is equal to m and we substitute it in this expression for x so we can try to simplify this first mx is same as uh, 2m plus 5 so we shall substitute by m which is equal to this y plus 5 divided by negative 2 so this will be y plus 5 divided by negative 2 uh, this is into x which is equal to 2 
into y plus 5 over negative 2 then plus 5 so from here we can try to simplify this this is y x plus 5 x divided by negative 2 this is same as a negative of y plus 5 and then again plus 5 so that is what we are having this and this will give you a negative 1 so this is y x plus 5 x divided by negative 2 which is equal to negative y minus 5 plus 5 so if that is the case it means y x plus 5 x divided by negative 2 will be equal to negative y now from this given point here we can uh, try to rearrange and have the locus of the point p so we shall have this as y x plus 5 x which is equal to negative 2 times negative y which will give us 2 y so this can be written as x y plus 5 x minus 2 y which is equal to 0 so therefore x y plus 5 x minus 2 y which is equal to 0 is the locus of p is the locus of p and question number three will be answered